Hello all, in earlier video we have seen how we can dump the data from Oracle database to Teradata database using SQL and stored procedure transformation. Uh, if you check in earlier session, uh, commit, type is a tar commit type is target and commit interval is 10,000. So these are the default settings when you create, a, create any session. Now what it means is when 10,000 records get inserted at target table, Informatica integration service will commit the record set. So there is a small change in the requirement. So instead of committing the records after every 10,000 records gets inserted into target, we want Informatica integration service to commit the records after every table run or after every table load completion. Uh, let's say uh, there are, uh, let's check in the SQL query. So there are two tables currently of which we are going to dump from Oracle to Teradata. So we have to, so we want integration service to hit the commit after every every table. That means af once department table gets gets over or data, lo data load gets over, Informatica should hit the commit. And similarly after employee table gets, uh, employee tables data load gets over, Informatica integration service should hit the commit. So in order to do that, we need to use transaction control transformation so let's add expression and also the transaction control transformation so the required logic to identify table name change will write in expression transformation and based on that output of that logic will will determine whether to hit the commit or continue with the existing trans transaction in transaction control transformation so let's create two variable ports So last one will be old table name, change the data depth to 20, this is o table check. This variable will hold the old value of the table and here we'll actually compare the old and new value if current value is not equal to old value then you consider it 1 and otherwise you consider it 0 and this variable will pass as a output integer output and o table check now based on the value of o table check we'll consider whether to commit the transaction or continue the transaction so the properties tab if value of o table check is 1 then you commit the transaction commit before or you continue the transaction so if you check here currently currently the commit type is target okay now let's connect this transaction control transformation to target save the mapping refresh the workflow oh it's showing mapping is invalid Uh, 
Pro. Yeah. I'll just specify table check here. Mapping is in valid state now. Let's save it. Now if you see the commit type automatically it got changed to user defined and now it's non editable. That means as and when you add transaction control transformation into a mapping and this is that is the last active transformation then Informatica automatically change the commit type at session level to user defined. Okay, now let's run the workflow. Since we have two tables in the source, as per our expectation, Informatica integration service should hit the commit statement two times. Let's check the session log. So as you can see here, this is the first user defined commit point after 27 records got inserted into target. So these 20 seconds, 27 records basically belongs to departments table and uh, there is a second the final commit after 134 records got inserted so basically after employees table got loaded into the final target table now let's assume that along with this target you also have a requirement to to keep track of number of records which got loaded in a particular session. Now, in order to save number of records of a particular session, we'll create another target table. So, create, create table number of records for session. So, what this table basically hold is it will hold table name so here there are two tables in the source departments and employees so it will hold those table names where care 20 and along with that it will hold record count integer If you want, you can give date as well. Uh, run date timestamp zero. Let's let's pull this target table number of record for session input from database DBC. pull this target table in the mapping as well now in order to get the count you have to add aggregator transformation get record count We'll add expression transformation to get the run date. And so let's pull the table name along with <coughs> excuse me along with uh, first column let let's say any column will do since we have to just find out the count so we'll use first column only or even we can 
uh, find out the count of table names only so let's pull the first column and uh, basically since we need a count we'll do the group by on either on table name or new field one record count change it to integer and make it output and count of now since uh, considering new field will be always as a as our source tables primary key we have to use uh, new field only at group by group by clause or group by port uh, we cannot use table name as, uh, as in group by port since table name won't be unique it will always get repeated so let's connect these two ports to expression add an extra port here which will give us the sys date current date change the data type from date time again output port and variable sys time I want this date will do this is time only and if you connect these three ports to target and if you see we are mapping it still in invalid state now why it is in invalid state because the error is the target de definition this is a new target has more than one transaction control point connected to it now because why it happens is for this target this immediate active transformation is transaction control and by using this setting informatica has changed the commit type from target to user defined now when you connect this target and you apply or if you add another active transformation in between transaction control and the target definition and if that active transformations type or transaction scope is all input it will it will discard the boundaries of transaction control transformation and it will create its own boundaries and if it when when transformation create its own boundaries other than transaction control transformation ideally commit type should get changed to target so now in this case informatica is not able to define what commit type we have to specify actually that's the reason the mapping became invalid so in order to in order to uh, correct this mapping or to validate this mapping we have to change the transformation scope from input to transaction now once you do that mapping will get validated now let's run the workflow I have to specify target connection and even the table name prefix which is financial let's run the workflow I think we have done something wrong over here. We have to group by table name only. Refresh the workflow. Let's run it again. Yeah. 
so it's my mistake we should not use this new field which is a primary key of uh, both our both of our source tables we should not use that in a group by clause you have to use tab, uh, table name port only and based on that we have to take the count and let's check the final table yeah so this is the latest record i will i will delete let's run the workflow again so in departments table there are 27 records and in employees table there are 107 records if you run the workflow again it will append a new count in the same table so by that way you can easily identify for particular session how many records got inserted in actual target table so time is different earlier it was 14 and now it's 30 41 so this is the this is one load and this is another load so this is basically this is the first load and this is the second load thanks for watching this video